from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Legron. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. A major expansion in gambling is now coming to Florida, which includes sports betting for the first time. Governor Ron DeSantis signing an agreement today with the Seminole Tribe that will now bring things like mobile sports betting and extra games, including roulette, to the casinos. The Florida legislature will hold a special session to possibly sign off on the deal May 17th. The deal includes the Seminole Tribe paying the state of Florida $500 million a year. There are now 15 confirmed reports of blood clots related to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, all cases involving women. Three of those women died due to the complications. Those 15 cases are among the 8 million Americans who have received the J&J shot. A majority of the women who experience those blood clots are in their 30s. Suspected Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz is expected to go to trial this September. A Broward County judge says that she'll be sending out orders in the coming weeks to set specific dates for pre-trial motions. Cruz's public defender says that they have not been able to meet with Cruz in person for more than a year because of the pandemic. If he is convicted, he faces the death penalty. Citrus County leaders are trying to make it easier for folks who work nine to five to get vaccinated. Starting in May, they're gonna be offering shots on evenings and weekends. They will still honor any appointments already made, but they plan to also accept walk-ups. This is the Department of Health sites in Crystal River on West Venable Street. We've got all the times and the dates posted on our website, abcactionnews.com, as well as a county-by-county -county breakdown of where you can get vaccinated all around the Tampa Bay area. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? We've got mostly clear skies across the area. Clouds are going to be building in over the next couple of days, but the rain chances look to be holding off until late Saturday night into early on Sunday morning. So through the overnight hours, skies will be partly cloudy. A very warm day on Saturday. Highs reaching the upper 80s to low 90s inland in the low to mid 80s along the coast. The rains roll in late Saturday night, stick around through around midday on Sunday. There is a chance some of the showers could linger for the beginning of the St. Pete Grand Prix. Right now, though, I think most of that rain will be earlier in the morning and later in the day on Sunday, skies begin to clear. By Monday, more sunshine returns and temperatures right back in the mid to upper 80s.